Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So I know this is a complete different setup. I'm trying to like change the setting in my videos and like not make it so boring all the time. I already know what they sent, but this is really, really fun. And also I'm gonna give you guys some ideas how I'm gonna decorate them. And I just cannot wait. But like I said, thank you so much for Taylor for sending this product. The store is pretty cute and they have so many cute pots. They're all like animals. Like I think I saw like a dog one and they had like a blue dolphin one. It was just so adorable. And they have even more options. So, and also that I said that these are literally handmade, which is like literally insane. I'll have the website linked down below so you guys can go and check them out. But with any further ado, let's just get into the unboxing. So, like I said, I will be showing you guys how I will be decorating with these girlies. And when you open the box, it has this really, really cute note which says, thank you. Oh my god, look at me putting it. How am I doing this? Literally completely upside down. You guys, the camera's flipped. <laughs> and on the back, it says, thank you for supporting our small business. Each of our products are carefully handmade by Filipino crafters and we hope you enjoy your purchase. Like I said, I resell the product, which is why I'm talking so positive about it because I really, really do like it. I'm so happy that they ended up reaching out to me because like, holy crap, like they have some really cute stuff. So it has this, well, let me show you how it looks. Well, I'll show you in this box how it actually looks like without me actually messing with it. But um, it has this cute little thingy over here. And here is the planter. Like, do y'all see that? It's a hedgehog, you guys. Look, isn't it so cute? Oh my god. Like, I just can't. And it's really, this is my head. So, just to give you like a size reference, it is pretty big. I can fit a four inch pot inside of this. Um, maybe like a 4.5. But, oh my god, it's so freaking cute. Like, Look at that. I will be putting some close-up shots for you guys after this video, but this is just so cute. Like, it has a little tag. It just says, made in the Philippines. Cute. Alrighty, let's put this to the side and open the next box. Now, to this day, after all these unboxing things that I've been doing, I don't even have a box opener because, like, I don't want to spend my coins on that when I can just use that money to buy another plant. But let me get a butter knife to open it. Here's a butter knife, um, which is not as bad as how I used to do it back then. Like I literally was using like an actual knife that was like shaped for watermelon. But anywho, let's open this girly. Oh, obviously, I wet my chest because we don't want to stab myself. So the packaging is pretty great. So this is how it is. I'm gonna open it. Um, like you guys see, it's the same thing with a really, really cute thank you note and it says the same stuff. And here is the cute, it's not paper. It's like, I don't know what you call that material, but here's another hedgehog, it's so freaking cute. Y'all, look at it. Oh my God. Like literally imagine like this in the table. Like for Valentine's Day. Like this, like this, kissing, kissing. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna walk around my apartment and find some plants to put in these girlies. Or guy or girl or it. It's 2021. It can be whatever it wants to be. But um, yeah, we're gonna like decorate them. Oh my god, like I just cannot. Like they're just so cute. So I don't know if I should like put them like this as a now for like Valentine's Day. Or just like this. Or and two separate tables. But like having like, you know. Like, you know, like in the master bedroom, there's like two tables on the sides. Yes, that's super cute. Okay, so let's look for some plants. More plants that I have that we can decorate and mix and match. Okay, so I know I told you guys I was gonna go take you guys along in the apartment to find some plants, but um, I kind of struggled to set up the camera and I don't wanna mess with that again because I hate doing all this. It's just like, it's, it's too much. It's a white color diffusion. And like I said, it is a little bit still wet. Yeah, look at this. There's not much to say about this. It's just, it's so cute. And here's a purple passion plant. What I was thinking on doing is getting like a golden photos from like Walmart or Lowe's on a actual, on like in a 3.5 inch pot and putting it in here. And this purple passion plant needs a little bit of water, but, but it's just adorable. Like I just can't. Oh my God, look at this. Now, one more thing that I do want to mention, like I said, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I'm not gonna always talk positive about every product um, like I said, if there's something wrong with this, then I'll let you guys know. It doesn't have like a little plastic container inside to like hold the water. So what I recommend is when you 
put a plant inside, make sure that it's already watered, like this white color day fusion, and you put it in there. Like, I don't think you should water it when the plant's inside with this, because it could, like, you know, rot. Yeah, so you pull it out, you water it like usual, and then you put it back inside. But, okay, this one is semi fitting Here's a little prayer plant that I was propagating. I think this one's kind of cute. Like, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> this, I'm sorry, it's just, like, they're just so cute. Like, I'm just, I'm that basic. Any, like, animal planter, like, I just, you really want me, like, right there where you, like, have cute, like, animal planters. Next! Okay, but what else should we put on? I have a begonia that I think would be pretty fun to place. When they told me to pick a planter, I was thinking on getting the hedgehog and buying a trailing plant. But my dilemma is like, right now, is that I don't want this to get covered because this is just so cool. And I don't want it to get hidden by the foliage, so I think a plant that's like, that goes up. Now, this is a rabbit's food friend that I just found in the shopping video and it has ramazones, I think you call it those little like roots that come out of the plants that look like um, literally, some people say tarantula legs or like rabbit foots, that's why it's called the rabbit foot fern and as it grows, the ramazones will like go all the way down and it will like kind of do something really really cool with this that's my idea, that's what I think would happen but I need to like leave it inside a little bit more you guys are really gonna see these on my Houseplant toys because it's just so adorable. His is an ivy. Look at that. <laughs> I just can't. It's so cute. Okay, what's next? We have this one. This one's a little bit big. Fit pretty good. So, oh my god, there's a lot of plants over here. And you guys cannot even see La plantita. So, let me move this back up and show y'all. What do you think of this one? What do y'all think? Yay or nay? <laughs> and the fact that it's handmade is literally crazy. And I also love the fact that you're supporting a small business as well, especially through these times. But look at that, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick the plants that I wanna leave in these little cute hedgehog planters. And I'll show you guys where I'm gonna place them and the setting that they're at. So. Yeah. Alright guys, so I told you and promised you I was going to do um, a <laughs> a little close-up at the end of the video, so here we are. So these are the plants that I decided to use, a beautiful variegated peperonia and a begonia. Um, I really, really do like the way it looks. I also ended up adding a little bit of spice <laughs> on this one. I got a little bit of Spanish moss, sorry, spangdam moss to cover up the pot a little bit i think the magnet moss really does give it a good like oof <laughs> i really do like the way it looks and this one doesn't have it honestly it is so adorable i think it's really really cute and this is gonna get a lot of i don't know i feel like my family's gonna like it a lot because my grandma and my mom always tend sorry i just ended up bumping on this chair they always tend to come over and they love looking at my plants and we love talking about them and just like, you know, drinking coffee and just talking all about this good stuff. I think this will be like a really good conversation starter. So let me give you guys a little bit more a look. Here is the buck. And um, yes, as you guys can see, the wood work goes all around the hedgehog. And these cute little eyeballs are just adorable. Even like the nose, <laughs> really into detail. I love it a lot. So as, as of right now, I have it at this table just to like, because I needed to take some pictures for Instagram. But later on, I kind of want to put it in a coffee table. I don't have one yet, but like in the middle. If not in the master bedroom, I can put one in my side of the bed and then the other one on my boyfriend's side of the bed. So that'd be pretty cute. But as of now, I just, I want everybody to see it. And the only way to make that possible is putting it in this table. <laughs> I love these a lot, you guys. They're just so adorable. And they have a lot of other different kinds and like different colors, shapes, and sizes. Like y'all really need to go check it out. Like I said, the link will be in the description box below. So yeah. And if you do end up purchasing one, please let me know. Take a picture, tag me on Instagram so I can see those cute little planters and how you designed it. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!